half in the summer. Come on, the Warriors! And he's replacing Hanno Fia. Oh, an incident in London Irish with a chance and it's carried on and into the hands of Yard. From Jonathan Joseph up to within 10 metres. Hobson with time for a, a word of complaint, but he's still trying to drive his London Irish side on the scrum half. A high pass taken, but instantly in come the thumps and back go London Irish. Again, it's Joseph trying to squeeze his way through. Muscular centre, Yard. Oh, and Yard is through. The Harlequins defence scrabbling back, regrouping. Nick Kennedy. And now a chance for Homer and men out here for London Irish if they can use it. Can they put the overlap back in field? It's Tatsi Ojo for a try. A fine try for London Irish. Eventually scored by the winner, but almost everybody had a hand. This all comes from the kickoff. It's a terrible bit of communication. Neither Brown or Stan in front there knows who's going for the ball. Brown's too far away to use him as a blocker. London has turned the ball over. And then they do really well with their patience. I think Brown didn't think that was his ball. Got a surprise. The ball's turned over. And then fantastic out wide. Good hands. The crossfield line, both Harlequins defenders go with the ball, leaves a massive hole on the outside, inside, sorry, for Topsy Ojo, who scores it well. Straight on the pitch as well as we prepare for Tom Homer's kick, straight on the pitch for Alex Gray and a great hand in that try as well. One of the more difficult kicks for Homer. It's a decent attempt, but it's just skirting to the right of the uprights. So London Irish lead by two. Game on here at Twickenham in the first of this doubleheader. Toby Booth, Mike Catt. Things seem to encourage them. And just they created the overlap on the outside. There were loads of numbers. Queens are having to really drift across the field. 